Hi everyone. In today's lesson, we are looking at Chapter 6, Section 1, Polygons. Our objectives are to identify, name, and describe polygons and use the sum of the measures of the interior angles of quadrilaterals. Our standards are GECO 11. We start with some definitions. The first word is polygon. A polygon is a plane figure that meets the following conditions. It is formed by three or more segments called sides such that no two sides with a common endpoint are collinear and each side intersects exactly two other sides, one at each endpoint. Sides. The sides of a polygon are the segments that form the polygon. Vertex. A vertex of a polygon is an endpoint of a side of the polygon. Convex. A polygon is convex if no line that contains a side of the polygon contains a point in the interior of the polygon. The way I remember this is if I were to extend the sides of the polygon, I can see that none of the sides go through the inside of the polygon. They all are on the outside. That's how I know that this is a convex polygon. Non-convex. A non-convex polygon is a polygon that is not convex, meaning it is concave. A concave polygon is a polygon that is non-convex. Concave. A concave polygon is a polygon that is not convex. And you know that it is not convex is because if you were to extend this line, notice how it goes through the interior of the polygon, and therefore it is not convex. It is concave. Equilateral. A polygon is equilateral if all of its sides are congruent. Equilangular. A polygon is equilangular if all of its interior angles are congruent. Regular. A polygon is regular if it is equilateral and equilangular, meaning that all of its sides are congruent and all of its angles are congruent. Diagonal. A diagonal of a polygon is a segment that joins two non-consecutive vertices. Here's an example of the different kind of regular polygons. We've got a triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, and decagon. Identifying polygons. We have to state whether the figure is a polygon. If it is not, explain why. In our five figures over here, figures C and D are polygons. Figure A is not a polygon because one of its sides intersects more than two other sides. So notice over here, this side over here intersects more than two other sides. So it intersects one, two, and three, and this side over here intersects one, two, and three. Figure B is not a polygon because some of its sides are not segments. Since we have these curved sides over here, those are not line segments and therefore B is not a polygon. Figure E is not a polygon because two of its sides intersect only one other side. Notice that this side over here only intersects here and this side over here only intersects on here, so it is not a polygon. Example number two, identifying convex and concave polygons. We are to identify the polygon and state whether it is a convex or concave. Figure A, the polygon has six sides, so it is a hexagon. And when you extend the lines, none of its sides intersect the interior, so the polygon is convex. Figure B, the polygon has seven sides, so it is a heptagon. When you extend, some of the sides intersect the interior, so the polygon is concave. Example number three, identifying regular polygons. Decide whether the polygon is regular. Figure A, the polygon is equilateral, meaning all of the sides are equal, but it is not equilangular. We don't know that the angles are equal, so it is not a regular polygon. Figure B, the polygon is equilangular. You can see that all of the angles are 90 degrees, but it is not 
equilateral because we know that all of the sides don't have the same measure, so it is not regular. Figure C, the polygon is equilateral, so we know all of the sides are equal, and equal angular, we know all of the angles have the same measure, so it is a regular polygon. All right, checkpoint problems number one, two, and three are yours. In checkpoint problems one, two, and three, you are to name the polygon and tell me whether the polygon is convex or concave and if it is a regular polygon. So here is checkpoint problem number one, checkpoint problem number two, and checkpoint problem number three. Don't forget to put your answer in the Google document. All right, theorem 6.1, interior angles of a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral has four sides, and the interior angles of the quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360. So measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 equals 360 degrees. So let's take a look at an example. Here in example 4, we are looking at interior angles of a quadrilateral and we are asked to find the measure of angle U and find the measure of angle V. We know that all of these angles inside the quadrilateral is going to add up to 360 degrees. So we can say 5x plus 3x plus 10 plus 72 plus 118 is equal to 360 degrees. Simplify your like terms. You got 5x plus 3x, which is 8x. 10 plus 72 plus 118 is 200, which is equal to 360. Subtract 200 from both sides, and you get that 8x is equal to 160. Divide by 8 on both sides, and you get that the value for x is 20. But that's not what the question is asking. The question is asking us to find the measure of angle U and the measure of angle V. So what we're going to do is take our x equals 20, plug it into the expression we have for angle U and angle V, and simplify. So for measure of angle U, it's 5x, so it's 5 times 20, which gives us 100. Measure of angle V is 3x plus 10, so that is 3 times 20 plus 10. 3 times 20 is 60, plus 10 is 70. Our measure for angle U is 100 degrees, and for the measure of angle V, it's 70 degrees. Now it's your turn. Answer checkpoint problem number four and five. In checkpoint problem number four and five, we are finding the measure of angle D. So here is checkpoint problem number four, and here's checkpoint problem number five. Don't forget to put your answer in the Google document. That's it from me. See you all later.